An update now to an ongoing federal probe of the Buffalo Diocese. News 4 has learned that investigators with the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI have interviewed local victims of clergy sex abuse. And one of those victims is Stephanie McIntyre, who claims she was abused by Father Fabian Mariansky as a teenager. News 4's Jen Shantz is hearing from McIntyre's attorney tonight. Jen. Chris, the attorney Barry Covert confirms to News 4 that federal investigators traveled to South Carolina last week to sit down with McIntyre, who alleges the abuse at the hands of Father Mariansky started when she was just 15. The interview, he says, lasted several hours. They were asking generally about her abuse from Father Mariansky, how it began. They specifically asked about how he groomed her. Stephanie McIntyre detailed that grooming process in a letter to Bishop Malone sent in April of this year. He knew how devoted I was to my faith and used that as an entry point. It would be very special for me to have sex for the first time with a priest because he was so close to God, she writes. McIntyre alleges she was sexually abused by Father Fabian Mariansky in the 1980s, beginning when she was 15. She was recently offered $400,000 from the Buffalo Diocese through the Independent Reconciliation and Compensation Program. Her attorney, Barry Covert, says, among other things, federal investigators wanted to know where Mariansky took McIntyre. Whether they crossed over state lines, whether they went to uh, Canada. According to McIntyre, they did. In her letter to Malone, she writes, He took me to distant places, including across the border of Canada to Niagara on the lake, where we could walk around hand in hand without being recognized, and lay on a blanket on the grass where he was able to kiss and fondle me in public. The Buffalo Diocese was subpoenaed by the DOJ in June. Seven of the eight Catholic dioceses in Pennsylvania were also subpoenaed. According to sources, the focus of this ongoing federal probe involves alleged trafficking of minors across state lines for the purpose of sex abuse. Well, the fact that they, they conducted this interview, that they flew down to South Carolina, means that they've got a very serious criminal investigation. That they asked about the interstate nexus shows that they have been discussing uh, methods of which to bring, possibly bring uh, charges against uh, targets. Now, whether those targets are individual priests, church leaders, or the Buffalo Diocese as an organization is still unclear. Keep in mind, though, nearly all of these cases do not fall under local criminal jurisdiction due to the statute of limitations. We've reached out to the Buffalo Diocese to see if additional subpoenas have been served since June. We've not heard back. Jen Schantz, News 4.